Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cinderella Mouse and I'm here today with early access to The Sims 4 Full Rent Expansion Pack and we're going to do a cast video. I want to show you one of the Sims that I've created with the with the cast in this pack. Yeah. Now this is Louis Reynolds and he is a bit of a joker, he's a bit of a character. He reminds me of, um, I, this is going to be a very British reference and I don't know if everybody's going to get it, but he kind of reminds me of Will Meller in Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of crisps like he's he's like the comedy friend to the protagonist the protagonist being uh randeep kapoor who i've already done another video on so the idea is this is randeep's best friend louis and i wanted to have a sim that was kind of european so he's british uh he's i've, I've made him to go into like my british kind of terrace property um but who is really really enthusiastic about exploring the world like having a good time and kind of embracing other cultures. So he's a little bit too enthusiastic about discovering Tomerang. Termer um, I feel like he's gonna be, um, he's gonna be like, if you go on vacation with this guy, he's gonna be the one that is like, you know, you kind of like, where's he gone? And he's like having a deep conversation with one of the locals and he's like, right, okay, I know where the best place is to hang out. I know where the best place is to get kind of like the good produce, like this is the best place to eat. He's like, he gets in with the locals really quickly. I feel like he's very, very sociable, very, he's kind of got like a golden retriever energy, you know, like, he he just he he's 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 excitable and he's happy and he's enthusiastic so people are just happy to talk to him and kind of like tell them about themselves <laughs> so he has actually got a fount of tomorani knowledge as his aspiration this sim wants to immerse themselves in everything Tomerang has to offer. So again, he really wants to go to Tomerang. He really wants to kind of like explore and like go to the tiger sanctuary and explore the caves and like eat the local food and date the local women. He's kind of that kind of guy. Um, he's very, very cringe. So he is going to be, I hate that they don't do the animation when it's like, I, mean, I want to show you the animations. He's very, very cringe. Uh, so um, he, he, again, like I feel like Randy, Priyanka, Louis, and another sim that I'm going to do a video on. It's like they're all, they all, they're all young adults. They like playing computer games to each together. So they kind of, you know, they've got these kind of memes and in jokes and uh, kind of cringy things that they like to do. And Louis's a little bit more expressive <laughs> with those things. Um, but again, he's cheerful and he's good he is so good natured and he's so happy go lucky and he just brings a smile to my face when I kind of talk about it again. <laughs> sorry guys I can see that I've got a massive bag under my eyes I don't understand why because I actually slept really well last night I kind of feel like I need to fix this light to the wall <laughs> to kind of hide that bag um I've got new lights uh -huh. not like lightsabers I'm like again I'm cringe sorry you're gonna have to put up with me doing stuff like this <sighs> They're going to be good for like TikTok transitions, I feel. <laughs> Does that look better lighting? I put it up against, maybe that looks like better lighting. Like, I don't, I feel like I don't want to have to punish you with like my panda eyes for the entire video. Um, okay, so let me show you his cast. Oh, actually, before I do, let me show you his likes and preferences. There's nothing he dislikes. He likes everything. <laughs> like very, very optimistic, very positive person. He likes orange because it's the color of oranges and the sun and mm. tango. <laughs> He drinks tango. You can tell he's he's got that look about him. Uh, pop music, comedy, video gaming, and foot fitness. Again, just really, just he's just happy to be here, basically. Um, so again, he's a little bit like he makes me think of kind of the nineties, like the late nineties, maybe early two thousands, where there was this. Um, this kind of Asian influence in Western fashion. Uh, so I remember like I was obsessed with Jackie Chan videos at the time and you know everybody was getting like like, like dragon tattoos or you know like Chinese symbol tattoos that said Coca-Cola was here and things like that because nobody knew how to read Chinese they just like like the way the symbols looked. So there was a little bit of cu cultural appropriation but I'd say mostly it was Again, like with the spirit of Louis Reynolds just being like, I love this culture, I want to immerse myself in it. I feel like it came from a really positive place. It didn't feel like it was like 
trying to steal someone's <laughs> culture or anything like that. So he's kind of making me think of that kind of era. Uh, so he's got this kind of, and again, he, like he he shops at Manta Ray. I love Manta Ray. Manta Ray, please sponsor me. Like I love their clothing, especially for guys. Like it's got this kind of like beach indie surfer dad feel to it which I kind of I'm all about it um and like my local store as well it was in the local Debenhams and Debenhams closed down and I was like no Manta Ray why <laughs> but it is it's very much like you know like linen shirts and kind of like beaded necklaces and dad shorts and flip like you know leather thong flip flops and I kind of I loved it uh so yeah it makes me think of that so yeah he's got like the linen uh shirt on there he's got his little kind of uh tribal bracelets on he's got his dad shorts he's he's just like he walked into Monterey and said yes um, <laughs> I do wish that we had kind of something that re I really love about that clothing and like I don't know why I'm suddenly talking about Manta Ray <laughs> I don't know like I'm not trying to get a sponsorship like I say I kind of like the guys clothing so Manta Ray sponsor more hot guys I want to see more that style on hot guys but uh yeah like uh a lot of the kind of linen shirts that they have that i really really like uh they kind of have that kind of like stripe detail so i kind of wish this had the kind of stripe detail to it ah missed opportunity anyway moving swiftly on so yeah he's just got this for his every day and again you can see like a guy in the middle of summer like hanging out in a pub garden wearing something like this in the uk so again i do like that the clothes are wearable it's not just like it's not so culturally inspired that it becomes unwearable and like only like the cast isn't like I can only use this in turmeric and it will not suit any other situation like they've done a nice job of kind of like having a balance of the more culturally appropriate clothing uh, and then you know clothing that feels like you know you could wear it anywhere in the world. So yeah, I do actually really like the cast. Uh, now that I've got used to it and played around with it a little bit, again, my first impression was a bit like, whoa, that's bright. <laughs> but I think it's just yeah. like, sometimes the marketing materials go for the brightest swatches because they want to be more eye-catching. Where actually when you get stuff into the game and you play around with it, you go, oh, I could pair this with this, or I could pair with this with this. So excited. I'm like a child. So excited, guys. <laughs> to, again, I did work in a primary school for a while, so sometimes these kind of head, shoulders, knees and toes actions come out of me. Um, I, yeah, I am so excited to get this pack in the game. So watch out for uh, creator sim spam, especially on like my shorts and my TikTok. Like I'm probably going to do a few of those like fashion videos where I kind of like take one item and like look at all different ways of creating clothing with it. Like I love doing that. It's really fun to me. Uh, so yeah, watch out for that. But this is what I'm talking about with like the late 90s thing um you know uh there was a lot of films and things out like with kind of like kung fu and you know like van damme and uh, like van damme was maybe a bit more 80s but jackie chan and kind of you know oh, i'm trying to think of some of the movies that were out at that time like who am i and um you know like I think there was this influence that came through and you start to see it on you know classic designs of like shirts and this is the thing with menswear menswear is like don't do anything too crazy like take something that I love and I'm familiar with and give it a twist so what we were seeing with like a lot of um you know just men's shirts that men would wear to go to a bar or a club and then you start to see like a dragon design on it or like you know this kind of like tribal pattern on it um because it was kind of like you know, mimicking the fashion, like, and especially the more ostentatious fashion of the women's wear. Like, I remember women's wear, there was this awful phase where, um, like, um, Chinese dresses, you know, like the Chinese dresses, like the Mandarin collar and like the crossover. There's one in this pack, actually. They kind of came into fashion um, and I was kind of, I mean, remember at the time because I worked in a shop and I kind of put them on display and being like, that is a beautiful dress. Like, I want that dress. It's so beautiful. But I would feel a little bit inappropriate wearing that kind of thing. Maybe that's going a bit too far. Like, I don't actually have to cosplay as, uh, you know, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Memo memoirs of a geisha, right? I don't have to, just because this is in fashion, I don't have to cosplay memoirs of a geisha. <laughs> like, um, it was a bit much. So I think men's fashion kind of did it better because it was kind of like inspired, like just by adding a pattern or a dragon. Like there's these shorts as well that just have like a dragon on the side, which I guess I'll show you in a bit. Um, So yeah, so this is his, uh, again, like look at that. Like look at this, like, I don't know, it just works. So this is his ath athletic wear. Um, Again, take, off the tag because they hide stuff I, and i wish that they'd add like 
um, like a casual bottom or like a jogging bottom uh, filter so I could find kind of pants like this more easily but like they are so perfect for the gym he kind of looks like he's going for a run or like maybe he's going like skateboarding or um, you know it's like one of those outdoor gyms or something like that I feel like he, that's kind of what he looks like here and then I love the kind of lime green again he's got a little bit of kind of like 90s inspiration circa 2000 inspiration the lime green with the orange beanie like again because he's got such a vibrant personality it just suits him him. again I'm not entirely convinced on the sleeves of this jacket uh, but the rest of the jacket I like and again look at that detail look at the zip on that one like I'm like obsessed with the zip on this item like look at the little blue zip detail look at how amazing that is like whoever like honestly sims team if anyone watches this please will you tell whoever like huh. made this outfit like this asset like whoever actually modeled the asset and gave that zip that little pop out detail like give them a massive pat on the back from me because like i i appreciate that detail um again the same with these kind of uh, jogging bottoms with like the little tie detail on like that is so nicely made and for me that's what i'm looking for when i get like actual official content and um, that makes it stand out to me from um you know, uh, CC, which can look sometimes very, very flat, um, unless it's like a very, very talented uh, uh, modeler, artist uh, creating the CC. A lot of the time, you know, you don't get that kind of attention to detail. So, you know, if I'm buying Maxis or, you know, getting codes, thank you very much, Sims team. But again, in my Sims 3 days, like, I spent a lot of money on The Sims 3 and, you know, I'd want to get that kind of level of quality. Uh, so I do watch out for it and I do appreciate it. Uh, his sleepwear then. <laughs> Look at him! He's got the curves! Like, Leonardo DiCaprio who? Nick from Backstreet Boys who? Is it Nick from Backstreet Boys? I don't know. I was never very good at my boy bands. Like, I've got face blindness. Literally could not tell the difference. Did not know which band that person was from. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, yeah, that is, that's a look. I remember this look. Damon Albarn from Blur, he definitely wore this kind of style at one point. Like, he just, oh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, he's got the kind of like scoop neck vest Ooh. on. Again, I love that little, just very subtle pattern detail on the pocket. It's it's just a really, like, it's not, there's nothing crazy there, right? Like, a guy would look, like look at that and think, because guys, men's, again, I worked in women's wear and I worked in men's wear. Women would be like, yeah, I'll put on that big ostentatious thing. I'm a geisha now. Um, yeah. Men would be like very comfort zone with the clothing. So, you know, like if a guy, a guy going out buying that vest probably has 10 vests like that, that are just like black, white and grey. And he would look at that and think, is that detail on the pocket too much? Can I get away with wearing a purple vest? <laughs> like, it's like that's what men, like men's fashion is like so i kind of love it like that is why that would be wild in menswear that would be like this person wants to stand out from the crowd <laughs> so again like i and I, I feel like the sims team are understanding that now like you know when we got the modern menswear kit and they had like which i love because i again worked in fashion for a long time i understand the difference between high fashion catwalk fashion and the way it filters down to the high street i used to work in a high street very very successful high street store so um yeah, like the idea of kind of, um, you know, like a trend being on the catwalk and being very eye catching and like a statement piece of art um, is going to kind of filter down to the high street as um, like an influence or, you know, you know, it's going to be like a nod to the catwalk style. And so especially in menswear, like again, like wearing the very, very familiar shapes, wearable, mm. familiar comfortable shapes that guys know and love in their wardrobe and then just adding the inspiration through subtle details is the way to go with menswear like again loved uh, like personally loved the modern menswear kit but it was a bit too much i think because not every person wants to wear kind of um you know uh corduroy pants with um two different types of corduroy and a little like pleplum like it's it was a bit too much i feel which is why um if you watch james turner's uh recent video on um like it's something like thirty thousand people kind of giving the, the thoughts and feelings on like the different packs and kind of rating the packs so it was a really really wide kind of focus group of feedback um and modern menswear came really low which is is a bit sad really but i do understand why 
like I say, I love high fashion, but not every single one of my Sims is going to be, I, I use that pack very rare, very, very rarely um, because it's not an everyday pack. So, and I think with menswear as well, for so long, we've been saying we need more wearable clothing. And actually, I think this pack uh, for rent is stronger with menswear, everyday wearable menswear, much, much stronger than the women's wear, which I feel the women's wear, a lot of the shapes, especially like the tops and the full body dresses, they do feel much more strongly culturally inspired, which makes them less wearable and less usable for me. Because again, if I put that on my Sims all the time, it's gonna feel a bit like, um, uh -huh. cultural appropriation uh so i'm i'm more <laughs> limited to the use that i get out of the women's wear clothing where the men's wear i can use all the time like there's nothing offensive about the men's wear um so let's keep going so his party wear outfit here this is what i'm talking about and i love the uh i love the tentacle on the shorts like really nice touch there sims too um but yeah this is kind of what i'm talking about so you get things like this it almost looks a bit like you know the kind of like chinese dragon that you get on kind of some of the clothing um in the 90s so it kind of reminds me of that again just kind of wearable it does have this little I feel like this is one of the more, uh, let me just take the top off for a second. This is one of the more um, uh, kind of uh, unusual shapes, like the, the more um, traditionally Southeast Asian cultural inspired shapes. Um, so I don't feel like I'm going to use this these pants as much as I would something like this, which again is much more just anyone could wear that anywhere in the world. Um, but um, yeah, like if I hide the kind of waistband uh -huh. with a shirt, I do think it looks a little bit more like just any, like any casual everyday pair of shorts. You just have this slight fold to the fabric, which again, I do appreciate because you do need the, you do need the clothing to be, um, to have enough cultural, to draw on the culture enough Ooh. that it becomes uh, representative of that culture in the pack because you know people might be looking for those specific items but again a lot of the use the lot of the value of the pack for me will come in how often I can use the item um so um yeah like I think you know when something is a little bit overstyled it does become a little bit more hard to use but again like that I think that's fine you know you, like like it just looks like a pair of shorts you know it just looks like it just looks like something like you know that no that's good sure um moving swiftly on so again like this again this shirt just looks like those 90 shirts where you know yeah. guys would just have like every guy would go out to the bar wearing a shirt it's kind of like you know back in the day where you couldn't go into a bar a nice bar anyway if you were wearing trainers you know you had to wear like your smart shoes and a shirt <laughs> because it was a respectable joint but you'd have like the little details on it so again just reminds me of that era so much like his little face he's such a little pop puppy do he's so adorable he's so sweet <laughs> he's a good boy louis a good boy um and so uh let's keep going we've got this is again yeah, absolutely love it like you know if he had his curtains on right now he would be so beach bum like he'd be so cute uh kind of reminds me a little bit as well like do you remember like uh jim carrey in earth girls are easy <laughs> remind me of him as well um anyway so yeah like <sighs> such a classic it just looks so 90s so again like absolutely probably bought this from one of the stalls in tomarang and like he wears it all the time and he feels so cool in it um he's got his, he's not got a bad body he is quite into fitness you know he's looking after himself he's a young man he's out on the pool so uh you know he's got to keep up appearances um and he probably would he'd probably be out kind of aqua sledding and kind of um you know doing all if i had all the packs installed uh, and maybe if he could like you know if he could get some bonus traits i'd give him adventurous like he's definitely a sagittarius guys like he would have the adventurous trait he would be up those mountains in Komarabi. he would be rock climbing he'd be snowboarding he would be aqua sledding he would be exploring the jungle in salvadorada he is up for it this guy loves an adventure he loves exploring the world and discovering the world definitely sagittarius um let's keep going so this is his hot weather outfit i just love him so much and you can see how like where the cringe is coming in with this outfit with the backwards hat um, i love a good backwards hat um so yeah like um <laughs> like he comes from a land down under um i know like you just 
I love her. What can I say? Like, she makes me smile. Um, and then this is his outerwear. So these pants, I'm kind of a bit sick of the three-quarter length pants. Honestly, Sims team, I feel like they're a bit out of fashion now. Um, like, you know, do your pants hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Um, you know, is it a flood? Did your cat die? Um, that's a British saying. I don't know if you say that around the world, but like when I went to school, you know, like because you're growing in school so fast, like it was a common thing for you to grow out your pants and your pants suddenly to be like that much too short. And people would go, Is your cat died? Because like when someone dies, you put your flag at half mast. So it's like your pants are flying at half mast. Hmm. <laughs> cultural knowledge so yeah like uh yeah <laughs> like no it just reminds me of like you know it was you'd rather not go to school than go to school with pants that were like that length like if your pants didn't touch the top of your shoes like just don't even bother going in like you will be bullied <laughs> that's the kind of school i went to uh yeah so like i don't know i do get this fashion but I'm over it <laughs> and I want some full length jeans please thank you sims team um going back to actually you know while I'm writing my Christmas list to the sims team um I would really love some like more kind of dark academia or light academia clothing in the sims like that is what I'm gagging for right now so do you know like how I said mo the modern menswear kit is a little bit too much but like if we had like the t the actual texture on some of those pants, the cords, the houndstooth, the tweed, like give me that texture. The texture was beautiful. Uh -huh. I just need st stuff that um, is a little bit more traditional looking, a little bit like my professor would wear that. Where if the professor walked in in a peplum, you'd be a bit like, are you okay, sir? Are you having a midlife crisis? Like what's going on? Explain this to me. You know, like give me like, oh, just give me, you know, the give me just give me just give me the dark academia sims team i need it like like the texture like more tweed more cord like it's just give it to me you know like again like the sims team are getting so good at doing textures on clothing now like there's some beautiful texture clothing i'm like lean into it more of that but on normal shapes like don't do anything crazy with the shape for girls and guys like i just want it give it to me <laughs> okay so anyway that is louis reynolds he is again i love the sims that i've been creating for this pack every single sim that i make i just like i hold them near and dear to my heart like i just think they're so gorgeous and so like he's a really nostalgic sim for me because again he just reminds me of like okay no like 90 like 90s characters again like will Sm not will smith will will meller and like robbie williams even kind of like he's got that kind of character to him uh so uh yeah i kind of love him be kind to him send him on lots of adventures if you put him in your game and if he does find himself at the top of the mountain in mount Comorabi or you know he's found one of the, the temples in selva dorada feel free to send me your screenshots um at cinderella mouse on twix twitter x whatever you call it i call it twix because it's funny to me and it makes me think of twix and they're yummy so uh sponsor me twix <laughs> Oh my god, can you imagine getting sponsored by Twix? I would be a balloon. I would be a happy balloon. Um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, send me your pictures. Send me your screenshots. Let me know what you get up to in your games. I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, take good care of him. And I will see you again soon. Bye, friends.